Hi, welcome to this new tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to restore false headings and toolbars in AutoCAD. Uh, sometimes happens that we open our AutoCAD and give us the surprise that we don't have any toolbars. As you can see in this video, uh, we don't have any toolbars or tabs on the ribbon or command line and we cannot begin or continue our drawing. Um, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to restore settings, bars or tabs on the ribbon by default in AutoCAD. To do this I have identified three solutions and in the next video three more. The first is a new option for the newer versions of AutoCAD. Uh, the second is for the most versions of AutoCAD and the third is related to a preventive way to restore your configuration with one in good condition. Um, the first, uh, well, first I close this AutoCAD and go to the Windows icon, go to the arrow and uh, search the AutoCAD options. Here is AutoCAD the options and we can choose reset settings to default. With these options you can restore default settings. Click on here. If you are using Windows 7 or other versions if you have to go to start all programs and you have to find Autodesk folder and AutoCAD and you have to go to reset settings to default I'm going to go ahead have a, a warning windows um, you can backup and reset custom settings but if your settings are wrong uh, you can only reset uh, custom settings huh? click on here the original settings for AutoCAD English has been uh, successfully reset okay have to wait uh, some seconds the AutoCAD is opening and it's ready huh? you have the default settings the default tabs on the ribbon and your uh, command line. Huh? Command line is here. You can fit in this place. Huh? The second solution or option that you have if you have this problem, uh, you can go to the command line you have and type options no? or go to the AutoCAD icon and go to options no? and go to uh, profiles profiles tab and choose this and name profile if you don't have a profile uh, and and click on reset you are resetting a profile in juice do you want to continue? yes ok and you have all the toolbars all the 
tabs on the ribbon restored. Also recommend you as a preventive measure create a profile. Type options options and in profiles tab click on add to list to create a profile for example some profile if you want you can uh, add a description apply and close and when you have a problem with the toolbars or the ribbon you can just go to apply and you can restore all your settings the tabs on the ribbon or toolbars that you have only uh, you have to to select the profile and click on apply the third option is a preventive way to restore your configuration with one in good condition uh, to do this uh, I, I would close this window go to windows icon go to the arrow and you have to select the export option of AutoCAD is here click on export AutoCAD settings uh, you can export settings and files from your AutoCAD installation to migrate to other computers no? you can uh, save this configuration or these settings to a file and you can restore these settings to to your computer or to another computer export click on export mm. save in a folder that you want click on save this may take a few minutes the immigration package has been successfully saved click on OK and if you want to restore also uh, go to Windows icon go to this arrow find the import AutoCAD settings no? click on import find your uh, file with the uh, settings no? open um, the migration package has been successfully imported click on OK and uh, this will open uh, as you can see a log with general information and migration details and when you open you are look at all the options or all your settings are restored and if I go to options click on AutoCAD icon options in the profile tab you as you can see here is a profile with the name AutoCAD English and name profile that comes with the profile that, that we imported. In the next tutorial I'm gonna show you uh, another three ways 
to restore default settings and toolbars in AutoCAD. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and click on the little hand of I like this. Thanks.